Well, hello there, and welcome to Mindstruck. Mindstruck is a community for Minecrafters to share their structures that they've built and saved with the 1.10 structure blocks. You may have seen a previous announcement video, but it is finally ready for the open beta release. So I'm going to show you around a bit in a couple of videos, and all these videos will be available on the website in the how-to section. So let's start with some basics. To create a structure, you can check out my tutorial linked in the description below, also in the how-to section. But you can't actually submit a structure to share it with the world unless you have an account. But there are things you can do without any Mindstruck account. So this video is going to be all about the features that you can access as a guest. So even though you can't share your own structures, you can still look around and find structures that other people have submitted, and you can download them and put them into your own worlds. So on the main page, there's just a short little introduction about Mindstruck, and then there will always be the latest submission down here at the bottom. So this is going to be real-time updated, which means if you come onto the page and you see a different submission down here than the last thing you saw, then you know that people have been submitting more and you might want to look around to see what's new. So one way to see what's new is by coming into this browse section, this little chest icon, and this will always show you the entirety of the Mindstruck catalog, everything that's ever been submitted to the website, sorted from newest to oldest. Now, this website, as of this recording, has not actually been released to the public. By the time you see it, it will be, but right now, it hasn't been released to the public, so the only submissions here are the ones that I have submitted. Uh, as the community grows, so will this catalog, and there will be many, many more things to see here, so always check back and see what people have added. But what if you want something more specific? For example, what if you don't want to have to look through 500 or 1,000 or 10,000 submissions to find a specific thing? Like, I want to look for specifically randomizers. Sure. Well, you can come up here and click this little icon here, this little magnifying glass, and that is the search icon, and it'll open up this little panel for you to search. So I can search for random, and this will show me anything random. So obviously, out of those two submissions that you saw before, the only one that has to do with randomization is this one, so this one shows up. Um, that might be good for you, right? You might find exactly what you're looking for, but sometimes things are a little bit broad. So when you search up here, it's going to search for the title, author, and description for your keywords. And that might not be what you're looking for. For example, if I want to look for ice castles, which as you saw before, there are none yet on this website. If I wanted to search for ice castles, I might search ice, but it's going to show me everything because uh, Ice Metal Punk, my username, has ice in it. So it's going to show me everything that Ice Metal Punk has ever uploaded, and that's not what I'm looking for. So if I want to search a little bit more specifically, I can come into the advanced search page, this little compass icon. And this will allow me to search for individual fields. So instead of searching everything for the word ice, I can just search the title for ice and press search, and it's not going to find anything now because there is nothing titled ice yet. There will be, I guarantee it, give it time for the community to grow, probably within a week. Um, but this advanced search is a lot more powerful than you think. Anything you don't fill in will be wildcard, meaning it can be anything, but whatever you do fill in will be specific to your search results. So you can search through the title, you can search for the username, for example, if you remembered a cool structure, you don't remember what it was called or, or anything about the description, but you remember who submitted it, you can search for their name here, um, you can search for specific versions, um, and this is mostly probably going to be used for compatibility. So in the earlier snapshots of 1.10, uh, structure blocks worked a little bit differently. For example, they didn't have uh, structure integrity and random seeds, and so if you're using an older snapshot, you don't want something that relies on those, fe those features that weren't added yet. So you can come in here and you can pick your version. And this will always be up to date, so if the structure blocks change in the future, you can still pick the version you're looking for here. Or just search for any version. Uh, you can search in the description for keywords. 
uh, you can search for a specific category. So when people submit their structures to the MindStruck database, they choose a category. So if you click it, uh, you don't see it here, but I'll show you in the next video about uh, member features. When you submit a structure, it'll tell you what these are. So a base is just sort of like a home base where your bed will be, stuff like that. Uh, dungeon will have loot and mobs. Atmosphere is just for aesthetics. Redstone devices are redstone and command blocks. Multi-theme packs are specific to, um, to packs, which I will talk about in a second. Uh, and it's just for packs of things that don't necessarily fit together. So they don't all fit into a category. And then other is for anything that doesn't fit in the other categories. So you can search for specific categories. So if you just want to look for bases, you can search for that. Now there are no bases yet, but there will be. Um, and now this last part here, you can choose to include only single structures or only structure packs. So when people submit stuff to the website, they can submit single NBT files, which are single structures to be loaded in by a single structure block or they can submit structure packs, which are multiple structures that all connect together. Now, how they connect together is kind of vague and up to the submitter. Uh, they can be connected by theme, for example, a Halloween pack full of Halloween builds. Maybe they're all part of a larger build, for example, a city uh, with individual buildings in each structure file. Or maybe they're just a bunch of random things that don't actually fit together um, and the person just found them on their computer and decided to bunch them together and submit them as a pack. Whatever the reason, you can have single structures or packs, and so you can search specifically for those if you would like to, or all submissions. And then the last button here says only show results from verified users. Now I'll talk about verified users a bit in the other video about member features, but basically a verified user has verified that their mine, Minecraft account on their profile is actually owned by them. So you can be sure that these people are who they say they are. It doesn't give any other perks, but it gives you a little bit of trustworthiness knowing that the person that you're searching for isn't actually like faking it or stealing someone else's account, which I highly discourage and will not be tolerated if discovered, but just in case you're a little bit suspicious, um, you can only show results from verified users if you want, and uh, that's how it works. And you can search for whatever you want. So if I were to search for that, and the username contains ice, obviously I'm going to find me. So if we click that, it'll show all of your search parameters up here. So username ice, showing only results from verified users, and these are the results. Fair enough. Makes sense, right? Okay. Um, and so once you've found a structure or structure pack that you would like to, to see more about. In these results pages, the description will be cut off. Um, so it might not give you all the information you want, um, but it will have a screenshot if it was uploaded with the structure because those are optional. Uh, and I'll tell you how many screenshots there are. So if it says like three screenshots, you know there's more than just this. Or you can just download it immediately. But if you want to see more, uh, if you want to see more information about it, you can click here or click the view page and it'll come to the uh, submission page. Now on the submission page you get to see the title, the author, when it was added, uh, the category, which again if you put your mouse over this question mark it'll tell you information about the specific category of the structure. Uh, it'll tell you the version it was made in and it'll have this structure analysis. Now this structure analysis only applies to individual structures not packs. But for individual structures like this one, if you open up the structure analysis, it'll basically give you information about the structure taken directly from the MBT file. So this is not user submitted. This is automatically generated. So you can get information about the size, the number of non-air blocks, the total number of block types, um, and it'll tell you the number of each type. And if there are any entities saved with it, you'll get another drop down and it'll tell you how many of each entity they're saved with it. So for example, if you didn't choose verified users on your search and you're not sure about this person and they have screenshots up of a nice house, but then you open up the structure analysis and you see there's a million creepers stored with it, then unless you want to party with creepers, you probably aren't going to want to download that. But hey, if creepers are your thing, go for it. Um, 
So that's the structure analysis. Again, not available for packs yet, possibly in the future, but for now on individual structures. You'll get all the screenshots that they've submitted over here, and you can click it to get full versions. And you can download it from here or download it down here below the description. And here will be the description that the that the member has uh, included with their structure. So you get more information about it. You should always read the description before downloading, especially with Redstone devices, because there might be special uh, setup instructions on how to use the device. And even in things that aren't Redstone devices, there might be certain instructions about, for example, um, rotation parameters or structure integrity and seed parameters that they might want you to use. So always read the description, just a handy tip. Uh, and then again, another download link so that you can download before or after you read the description. And then there's comments. Now right now there are no comments on the website because I'm the only user for now. Um, again, once this video goes out to you guys and you're seeing this, there will be more users, so there might be comments. Um, but yes, so there's comments, and you have to be signed into comment. Sorry about that. But creating an account is free. It's easy. It takes about two minutes, if that. Um, so check out my other video about member features to see if you want to become a member. I suggest you do. Um, but yeah, so that's the downloads page, the view page. Um, as a guest, as a non-member, you can also view user profiles by clicking the username on any page. So in a user profile, you'll get the username, you'll get their Minecraft avatar, their Minecraft skin, which will be synchronized with their Minecraft account, or at least the one that they've supplied when they signed up. Now this skin will be at least a week, uh, it will be updated at least once a week. Um, there may be in the future a button for members to refresh their own skins uh, if they want it to update faster than that, but at least once a week it will be updated to the current skin that they're using. I'll tell you when they joined, uh, it'll tell you their Minecraft name, and next to their Minecraft name you may see a check mark or you may not. Now the check mark indicates that this is a verified user, so if you put your mouse over this it'll say this user has verified their Minecraft username. So that's what I've talked about before with the search. Uh, a verified user has verified that this uh, this username right here that they submitted in um, their profile is in fact their Minecraft account that they own and they haven't stolen anyone else's account, basically. Or at least they haven't created a Minestruck account using someone else's Minecraft account. So it just adds a little bit of trustworthiness. You know who you're getting from that. Um, and then it'll tell you how many structures that user has. It'll tell you their latest submission with a link to it. So the latest submission of mine was a scoreboard randomizer. So we get back there. Um, and that's pretty much it. This is all of the information you get as a guest or even as a member. This is the information you get viewing someone else's profile. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and then the last thing that guests can do is just the contact us page, which is a pretty simple form. Your name, email address, uh, subject of your email and a message. Um, and this will just get sent directly to the administrator, which is me. So it'll get sent to me and I'll respond in time. Email addresses here are required, mainly because otherwise I have no way of responding to your comments. So put in an email address and I will respond as soon as I can. And this is good, for example, uh, for reporting bugs on the website, especially since this is originally, this website is going to be released to the public as an open beta, which means there are probably going to be bugs. So if you see any bugs, just go into contact us and report it for me. It would really help uh, to get all the bugs worked out as soon as possible. Um, or if you've lost your verification code, which I'll talk about in the next video with member features, uh, you can submit that uh, message here and I'll see what I can do about helping you out. Um, if you believe that someone has signed up to Mindstruck using your account without your permission, uh, or using your Minecraft account without your permission, uh, you can report it here. Now, I don't expect this should happen very often. Again, zero tolerance policy. But um, if you have, you know, if you try to sign up for a Mindstruck account, and it tells you that someone already has your Minecraft username and you know you haven't already signed up, 
then you can submit a, a report here and I'll look into it. And I'll basically just have both uh, users verify their accounts. And whoever can verify their account, I will give the benefit of the doubt to. Because otherwise, you know, there's no other way for me to know. So if nobody can verify their account, then we have a big problem. But I don't ever expect that to happen at all, ever. Even less often than stolen accounts. So, yeah. Um, but just so you know, this is here. In case it does happen to you, you know where to go to report it. Um, otherwise, if it's just a general comment like, oh, I love your website, or this is great, or how do I do this, or whatever, that can go under general comments, and obviously, uh, you put a message here and click send, and it'll come to me. So that's pretty much it. So then if you click this, uh, if you click the Mindstruck account, it'll go, or sorry, the Mindstruck logo, it'll go to the homepage. And if you click this icon here, if you're not signed in, it'll give you the sign-in form. But... I'm not going to talk about the sign-in form now because that goes in the other video, which you'll see in a minute. I'll probably post all these videos up at the same time, and they will all be in the how-to section. Um, so the next video will be about member features. It'll show you what you can get uh, access to if you become a member of Mindstruck. It's completely free, simple, fast to do. And I highly recommend you do so, but if you're unsure, check out the other video, learn about what it gets you, and maybe it'll change your mind. So until next time, keep submitting, keep building, and keep sharing your ideas with the world.